Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about advanced WordPress theme development. You don't have to worry looking at the title that says advanced. Advanced does not mean that if you are a beginner in WordPress, you can't really follow this series. Uh, advanced means that we will start with building the theme from scratch and then we'll gradually move on to the advanced stuff. So we will do everything from scratch. We're just going to create a folder and then start adding different files that are required for WordPress. We will also discuss some parts of the WordPress code as well so we understand how things are working behind the scenes. Well, for JavaScript, we are going to use ES Next and so that all modern browsers understand uh, your JavaScript, we're going to use Babel for that to convert it into a JavaScript that all browsers can understand. We're going to use SAS and we're going to use Webpack to bundle all of our files. So we'll make small files kind of components and then we're going to use Webpack to, to bundle them together and give us one file that will we will then include in our WordPress which could be CSS or JavaScript. In PHP as well as in JavaScript we are going to use object oriented programming so we'll use classes and we'll use singleton in PHP and also use the PHP classes. Some of the features we're going to achieve will include registering custom menus. We're not only going to learn how to use the default menus but also register the custom ones and then also learn about how to edit the default WordPress menu. Sometimes we may have requirement where we have to really change the markup the way it's rendered. So how do we do that? We learn about registering custom post types, taxonomies, etc. And on a blog post we are going to learn about infinite scroll which is one of the key requirements of uh, most of the projects. We'll learn about pagination. We'll also learn creating custom page templates, template parts in WordPress. We'll also learn about the template hierarchy and how WordPress function behind the scenes using those templates. We'll learn about writing WP queries. We'll create a blog page and archive page and then we also learn about creating post filters with load more options. We learn about creating customizer options like adding new fields, new labels to customizer, like sometimes we have to add social icons to the customizer, maybe a logo to the customizer, etc. or our input field. So we'll learn about that. And we'll also talk about how to work with the user admin roles, what are different roles in WordPress, how to create a custom admin role. And we will speak about creating theme options page. Sometimes there are some of the options that you would want globally throughout your theme, throughout your site, so we can add them in the theme options. So we'll talk about that as well. Uh, there's also a slick slider that we may want to integrate into our projects. So We'll talk about that and then we'll create custom widgets. Uh, we'll also add comment forms and sometimes we have to go and edit the default form that WordPress rendered so we will learn how to do that, how to edit those fields. And we'll learn about how to add related posts in case if there are some posts that are being shown I may want to show the post related to the same one from the same taxonomy and we'll also learn the how the translation is done. We'll speak about how to make Ajax requests and also use WordPress REST API to make some of the uh, calls and we may also want to learn about how to create custom endpoints with WordPress REST API. So it's going to be like a complete package. Some of the features might not be included in the list, but we will talk about it uh, while we are building the theme. So if you want to learn 
what building WordPress theme with all the possible options that you generally have to use when you are actually working on a client's project or even de developing your own theme we will possibly discuss all of that including like image optimization lazy loading and stuff like that so this is going to be a complete package 